Hello everyone, huge update, maybe the first ever Vault 3.0 preview tool. I'm super excited if you couldn't tell, so go ahead and take a quick look. I'm gonna get into that, but I did wanna let everybody know first, I've been very much listening to your feedback and have made a ton of changes. I've made an update earlier this week that improved our deep analysis 10 times, and then also made an update today that's a huge update, includes things like vault switching for different platforms, uh, includes better organization skills, includes a rework of armor, which is finally there. So some of that at least has a high stat in this armor 3.0 preview tool that we're gonna jump right into. So again, please share this with people just for a quick like, follow, subscribe, all the things. There's a way to donate if you'd like to do that as well to continue progress. As you can see that I'm actually taking your feedback and making all this actionable. So let's jump right in, okay, and take a quick look. All right, so if we look over at the Destiny, so again, this is Destiny Tools Vault Analyzer. It's Destiny with a two, tools.cloud. Um, is the site you need to go to destinytools.cloud and basically you're going to run right into it like you normally would. You're going to notice a couple of changes here right off the bat. One of those is going to be that I've reorganized things so that you have weapon types. Uh, again, I'm going to breeze through this because I want to get to this Armor 3.0 preview. This is min-max. We're talking maybe the first min-max tool ever for Armor 3.0 because Armor 3.0 has something a little bit different um, than some other things so uh, that we're used to. Uh, and one of those is the ability to go to 200, which means throw all of your old builds out the window, theoretically, if you're trying to min-max. So that's what I've created for you. An easy way to see if you min-max, we've been holding on to some of those high roller pieces like I have. Uh, you got armor classes here now, separated out again, and armor type now. Um, and all of this does work. I even included the calculate armor to, you know, for base stats and calculate armor 3.0. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to uncheck all because, as you see, I didn't include weapon types now so that we don't have as long of an analysis time. I'm going to do hand cannons real quick. This is live. I just put the site up, uh, the site update up. So you're going to see with me if it works firsthand. I tested it, of course, beforehand, and it did work there in the test environment. But um, as we see, yep, perfect. So when you load in now to your deep analysis, the first section very quickly shows you an Armor 3.0 preview it automatically defaults to overall. These are your overall best stat pieces that combine to your overall best total score. So obviously, you know, some of that might not be something you'd run. There are rules behind this. Again, I did all the analytics as well and made all the rules and requirements. So you can only choose one exotic, like Bungie says. So getaway artists happen to contribute to my overall best stats with a total of 91 being masterwork. So that is included in this build. Now, if we look at something like health, you'll notice I've been target farming because as a Warlock speaker site, I wanted a high stat that would contribute to health. So now my health build that is min-maxed will actually include my speaker site at 139 base health, which is pretty awesome um, because that's only going to get better if I want to creep to the 200 and I don't care about sacrificing some other areas or weapons are not part of this build for me and I'm going to go out on grenades. I mean, again, there's so many things you can do and, and this is just meant to be a really cool tool to preview just to see where you're at. Grenades, um, you can see what chest piece I would be running here as well as my total stats at 148 for grenade class item. I've got Starfire Protocol, which again was another target farm for me. Um, and uh, you see my class there at 141. Um, that would be, of course, a better demo roll, but I haven't uh, gotten that roll yet. So I hope you've enjoyed this, destinytools.cloud. For all of you that are following and liking, I'm hoping you see this video after a happy fourth and that ultimately this is going to help you and have fun for getting ready for Edge of Fate because I think there's gonna be some good changes, but also there's been a lot of anxiety about how things are gonna work. So if you wanna see what you got from InMax just as a fun little thing, it's there for you and everything else still function as usual and you can still do the vault cleanup and everything on your daily grind uh, uh, as per usual. So, um, oh, and I did make a quick update as well um, that I would definitely wanna to mention to uh, enhance synergy perks. Uh, I did weight those a little heavier because they were still coming back in some comments and, and things that I saw is where like maybe a chill clip um, role might not be factored very heavily where it should be. So stuff like that. Um, again, just continued upgrades and improvements and massive speed improvements this week. So thanks again, like, 